Hello and welcome to Azure Talk. This is another episode of Azure Talk. I am Abhishek Matre along with Sachin Kalia. He has already delivered various uh, topics in this Azure Talk. So today he is coming here with the how can we deploy uh, template resources into Azure DevOps. Sachin, over to you. Hi Abhishek, thank you so much for a warm welcome and a bit introduction about the today demonstration. Great. Go ahead. Yeah, let me share my screen. Yeah. Great, I can see your screen. Perfect. So here I am within dev.azure.com and my organization Sachin Kalia and with a project Azure Storage DevOps. Into today's demonstration, I'll be utilizing an ARM template in order to provision as your storage through as your DevOps. So if I talk about an ARM template, it is an identical to infrastructure as a code, which Azure allows us to provision your resources. There are various ways to do that, but I'll be using an ARM template, which is one of the industry standard nowadays yeah, to push great. such resources. Yeah. So without wasting a time, I am into my repo over here. Just click here. I have clicked on file. Here we do have two main files, which is both are Azure deploy dot storage JSON as well as Azure deploy storage dot parameter JSON. Hmm. So for our purpose, I'm here. I would highly recommend our audience to go through with the prior demonstration where I and Abhishek has demonstrated you about how can we create an ARM template and how can we create parameters, variables, and the other related stuff for the better understanding. Right. For the sake of clarity, what does this specific ARM template work? I'll be explaining you in a while. It is segregated generally into the six sections: schema, content version, parameters, API profile, resources, and variables and output. So here we do have one parameter, which is of storage account type. For that, we have kept a default value, which is standard underscore LRS and provided a default description. It is a variable which is applicable and can be used within the scope of entire ARM template. And if you notice, we are utilizing unique string. What it does, it creates a unique name of this entire context which we have kept into this inbuilt resource function of an ARM template. And at the bottom of screen, we do have resource, which is a type of array. It means it allows you to provision multiple resources through an ARM template. And as I have mentioned earlier, we are provisioning storage account. So we have kept a type of storage account. We are providing a name and name which, if you notice, we are utilizing this variable here. Yeah. Okay. And the location, it would be type of the resource group which I have already created, will be explaining you when I'll be creating a release pipeline. And the SQ unit, which we are using here, storage account type, which is of type here, as you can see, standard LRS. Yeah. Just, so to, just jumping, to add one point here, sorry. Just yeah, to add please. one point here, uh, regarding the parameters and the variables, we have already, me and uh, Sachin has already created one video uh, regarding what is the parameter and what is the variable and what is the difference between the both. Carry on, Sachin. Yeah, sure. Yes, that was a wonderful video to understand the depth of uh, an ARM template. Yeah. So here uh, I'm about to create uh, a pipeline with the help of YAML. So I am here into my pipeline. We do have an option to create a new pipeline, which I have just clicked. There are plenty of other options. We do, use, we do have use the classic editor to create a pipeline without YAML, but we will prefer this option for now. Yeah. So as soon as I click here, uh, it prompts me uh, the prompts me a default repo, which I'll be using. And the starter pipeline, as soon as I click there, it brings 
certain information that you can see over here right but uh, for this purpose i have created an arm term uh, of yaml that i'll be using here and will be explaining you each bit of this so at the top of the screen we do have trigger which is uh, connected to a master branch and we are utilizing a vm image of ubuntu the latest version will be there and in order to define the steps related to the content ci and we do have a task as soon as you click over here it opens a very beautiful layout onto the right side which states that the source folder will be the source folder that copy the pattern will be run from so in my purpose i am utilizing agent.build directory and the content i am picking the entire content the file path to includes as part of the copy supports multiple line you can set as per your need but i am copying the entire stuff which exist into the build directory the target folder is about where i am copying it for my own purpose right right okay so there are few few more options available if you click onto the clean target folder so it means whenever next time the pipeline for the ci will be running then it first it clears that folder and for the override it override the existing content okay at the bottom of the screen you can see we do have another task which is the publishing the build artifact if i click on to the setting the path to publish so we are publishing this into the artifact staging directory the artifact name which i have kept storage drop you can keep it as per your need and artifact publish location is as your pipeline so there is a file share also available so what does it mean as you can see over here we do have a container so whenever a pipeline run hmm. so as your devops at the back end it manages a container to run this stuff so this is the reason it will be publishing the storage folder into the container right i hope it is clear yeah and it's pretty clear I'm, yeah save click save and run i'm um, let me put something fancy over here as your pipeline as your ci with yaml save and run so, so for this purpose that, we have only two tasks one is copying the file and second is publishing the artifacts that's it yeah it is okay. copying the content from the build directory and pushing it to the artifact staging directory so that we right. could utilize the entire stuff later during the release pipeline Great. so let it execute and very it ran very fast and the job has been executed successfully let me see an artifact as you can see it has copied the entire stuff from the build directory published the build artifact over here if i click onto the artifact we do have storage folder where we do have yaml file which we will be utilizing it later and the stuff json okay. format so, yeah so without wasting a time let me create a new pipeline i am here into the release pipeline as soon as i click release pipeline so it opens for my purpose i am choosing empty this is as your storage you can put as per your need i have kept it here if i click onto the job agent job i am choosing ubuntu 18.04 for my purpose you can see the entire detail of the agent pool if yeah. you click yeah. over pool information right right i'll be keeping the entire stuff intact so here click on to the agent job and find an option related to arm template as you can see we do have an option available deploy an azure resource manager template to the deployment scope so as soon as soon as i choose this option it opens the entire stuff the display name you can keep as per your need right storage yeah 
it could be a, any custom name yeah it could be any custom name exactly the azure resource ma resource manager connection for that purpose i have already created service connection you can go through with our previous demonstration where we have discussed about this yeah by default i do have only one subscription with me but you may have few then you can op opt in as per your need yeah. create or update the resource group though there are various options uh, like uh, delete resource group but i'm keen to update a resource group which i have already created and the resource group which i'm choosing as your talk which is our group name the location will be east us the template that we have to for now just let me kept it star and save because I have to go one step back. Reason behind this, I have to, I have to integrate. I have to integrate an artifact which we have created into last. So there are various options available, mm -hmm. but we'll be using as per our need. As your storage DevOps one. For my purpose, right? Let me add. As soon as you we click there, then it has integrated the artifact which we have created into the CI part. Now okay. let me jump back into the same release pipeline. So if, as you can see, the template location will be linked artifact, and we have linked our artifacts from the build pipeline which we have created recently. And as soon as I click here, we do have a storage drop folder where we can choose our storage.json and here the way to integrate your parameter file, which we have here. If you want to override certain parameter, mm. then you can go with this option but I want, there are three options available for the deployment, incremental, complete, and validation. Yeah. So these are the details, incremental uh, mode handles deployment as incremental update to the resource group. It leaves unchanged resources that exist into the resource group, but are not specified in the template. Mm -hmm. You can see the other details related to the complete, but we generally prefer the incremental mode. So mm -hmm. let me save this. There is a little danger. Uh, there is a little danger in in terms of the complete because the complete would actually finishes and uh, deletes all the previous resources you have deployed. Yeah. So it would yeah. create the, the very fresh uh, build for you. Yeah. This is an. Uh, this is a very good point Abhishek has shared, and we should keep uh, such thing into mind whenever we create a release pipeline. Indeed. So I'm creating and just clicking onto the click create release. So here we are, release this first time. Yeah, create. So as soon as we click here, release has been created. It has started pushing the entire stuff. So it may take a couple of minutes. It has started progressing. It uh, let, let us uh, jump into the model. Uh, it has downloaded the artifact which we have kept into the storage folder and it is relevant to the CI pipeline which we have whichever we have created. So instantly and you can also see the uh, you know process what is, is happening yes. in the background right? So as you remember I have uh, opt-in as your talk RG mm -hmm. for my own purpose if you go into the deployment we do have a running deployment if you click here then you would be able to see the entire and the sequence of the things which are running parallelly so, so Susan, as you can see the, that is the same deployment which you have just started in background yes oh great instantly so you can see the result you know reflection yes. of this indeed so as you can see the deployment is completed and this is what our objective is to create and it has been created as you can see it reflects over here uh, we do have a very unique storage name if you remember with the yeah. unique function which we have used and we do have LRS 
and which we have kept our for our own purpose perfect so uh, th this is what uh, i conclude for the demonstration that is that is really very fantastic and i, I it was really pleasant to see like as soon as you just push uh, your uh, release pipeline from devops and instantly you can get the view on uh, on azure portal and in certain uh, time maybe in 30 seconds or 40 seconds you, you will get the overview of your uh, your provisioned resource there on the azure devops fantastic yes. fantastic Sajid. thank you very much and if you wanted to add something what we are coming next with the content Yes, probably uh, I'll be bringing in a few more uh, content relevant to Azure DevOps into the recent time. Uh, we we are working upon the various things, and there are a few more video demonstration which are left at my side related to the Terraform that I am working upon and will bring in very soon for that's, you guys. That's good news. In fact, uh, you are making you good use of uh, the lockdown period. Great. <laughs> okay, we are coming shortly. Me and Sachin uh, both will come shortly with the new content, with the new videos with you. And you you should get at, get us contacted with Azure Talk. And Sachin, can you tell me about yourself? How can we contact you? Yeah, uh, guys, you can reach me uh, on my blog, which is www.netpiper.com. We do have our facebook page which is named as as your talk and that is very easily available just type in as your talk as you see the screen and hanging over the shoulder of abhishek <laughs> as your talk so please uh, we, we are happy to answer you thanks so the very easy approach is to reach us to facebook as your talk page and we both are available there to answer your queries in fact we welcome you to not only the raise the questions you also can support us by answering our questions as well thank you very much for the reception keep you uh, contacted soon yeah thank you yeah thank you